night. Getting ready to install piston number six here. Really easily. Nothing easy about it. Just gentle. Make sure that those rod bolts in the bottom don't scratch up your crankshaft. Just make sure. And there it is. She's in. So here we are. These are actually Kyle's pistons. He picked up for his short block here, or for the notch back here. These are actually 30 thousandths over, which will make this motor an actual true 5.0 at 306 cubic inches. Because back in the day, our 302s here weren't really actually 5.0s. They're technically 4.9s, but being that this is now 30 thousandths over, cylinder bore here, 30 thousandths over, larger piston as well. It's gonna give them a small little extra amount of cubes there. We also changed the CCs on the pistons themselves to give them a bump and compression ratio. So he's gonna hopefully see a little added horsepower to that. Give him a little grin, a little smile on his face and be a little Silverado eater. <laughs> His buddy's car. So anyways, that's that. I'm going to pop this guy in and then show you guys a video of what the rotating assembly looks like when the pistons are actually actuating. I'm about to lay piston number seven in. Um, little tutorial for you guys. I've never seen an assembly of a, a short block here, but this guy here is basically used to compress the actual piston rings themselves because they expand. And if you don't do that, it'll snap once you try to lay it into position here, but a lot of guys use like these plastic sleeves to protect the crankshaft from being scratched when you lay this guy in. But if you take, you know, if you're extra careful and just make sure that the crankshaft is nowhere close to it when you lay it in, you should be fine. So just put it down nice and easy like that. Put it into place. Make sure the piston is facing the proper direction because there's an up and down to these things. Actually, these are valves valve for leaves so put that in there give it a bump Just like that you can see. And there it is it's installed so now I'm just gonna flip the motor around and uh, connect the rods to the crankshaft so one thing I didn't show you guys is well, the reason why we use the compression ring um, with the piston installers because these compression rings actually are springy see So that collapses it so we can put it into the cylinder bore, but uh, When you actually install these the manufacturers actually have guidelines to which way these need to be oriented um, So that uh, they basically a Lot of a lot of manufacturers don't want these guys over like wrist the wrist pin area or basically like Here's the second ring. It doesn't want it on top of each other as far as the gaps are concerned. Um, so that guy's gonna face, it's actually 180 out, phased, phased away from each other. And then for you, for those that you don't know, there's three basically rings. You got the top, you got the center, and well, and the bottom one is actually the oil control ring. Um, so it's basically a spacer in there and then two rings that sandwich it together. So that's what it looks like. And I just like to apply like just a little bit of lubricant on here so that it goes in nice and easy. So uh, that's that. I'm going to put this last cylinder, well, last piston in the cylinder hole in its home and hopefully make some nice power, horsepower with this guy.